hello to my Virgo peeps here. I am going to be doing a reading for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Happy full, super full moon, uh, which is currently in Libra. Okay, this full moon is about um, balancing out, working on um, balancing out or releasing um, partnerships, friendships, relationships. Okay, one thing uh, Libra brings in a sense of stability, a sense of balance, a sense of fairness, a sense of common ground. It almost reminds me of Sagittarius energy, you know. That friendship, that communication, you know, uh, who is making you feel comfortable within your relationships, who's who's creating that stability, who's bringing harmonious, uh, uh, that harmonious uh, energy into your world, okay? Who's working hard um, at doing that, you know, not overly working, but just like a natural passion to keep things balanced uh, within your partnership friendships relationships okay? we need to release the harvest on this energy now if you haven't done a full moon ritual it's not too late to do one mine is in the workings now all right so this is for uh virgo sun moon rising jupiter we're going to ask the spirit guys what is it that we need to surrender to this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Spirit. Please come down with probable, probable messages, grab the gestures, unconditional love and guidance. Okay? I ask to convey the messages for Virgo and this time and space from this dimension to the next, from this lifetime to the next, from this time zone to the next spirit. Come down with probable messages for Virgo. Spirit. I am here, willing and ready to be the conduit. Okay, so this energy is all the same, which is super great. So first you have surrender to rest and sleep. To prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind and body and spirit. That's pretty intuitive. Slow it down a bit. I mean, we are in a time of rest, being a hermit, going within um, and just being at rest uh take advantage of this time now is definitely the time surrender to setting limits so that obviously goes hand in hand it's the same energy here um when you surrender to setting limits it is healthy to set boundaries in your relationships practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence okay say no so that your yeses have value okay um, you're probably saying yes to a lot of things, which is taken away from your rest. Maybe family members, friends, um, people are just calling on you because they know that you're going to say yes. And that yes is wearing you out. It's making you tired. It could possibly have you feeling resentment. I didn't see resentment pop up in here. Um, but sometimes we can start feeling a sense of resentment when we're the ones unable to say no. So set boundaries for yourself. Make sure that whatever you're doing for other people, that you're comfortable with it, okay? Because it looks like someone is feeling a bit um, trapped, okay? Surrender to stubbornness. If you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. So I got a sense of maybe someone is saying, being stubborn about helping out. Like someone could even be possibly saying, you know, I wanted to ask you to do this, but, and you're like, no, no, I'll do it. And they're like, no, you've been overworking yourself. You need to take a rest. You're like, no, I'll do it. I'm going to do it. And it, it takes away from your own boundaries. It takes away from you needing rest. It takes away from all that. So your own stubbornness can, you know, your stubbornness and willingness to help other people overwork and not get rest can actually um, tire you out. And you have the underlying energy here, which is surrender to the wisdom of your body. Okay, listen to your body's message about a person in situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Okay, 
that's for somebody um let's go ahead and get into uh the light spheres here this is for Virgo spirits I mean like Venus this is for Virgo Oop, a whole chunk of cards you guys got some stuck energy there Okay, you got energy. You want to fall out? <laughs> okay, the underlying energy, Sagittarius. Somebody could be dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, or just trying to do things in moderation or needing to do things in moderation. That can definitely be the energy there. Okay? I see that we're resisting this breakdown because of some type of hopefulness. There's a breakdown that needs to happen. Maybe we're resisting it, Okay? It could possibly have to do with a lover, Gemini. Uh, Sagittarius energy is definitely alive in here. You have Aquarius energy, um, Aries, Scorpio energy here. Um, you definitely have Pisces energy here, for sure. Um, Cancer or Scorpio as well. Um, so what I see here, there's a breakdown that needs to happen. But for some reason, um, we're scared of maybe success. Mm. I feel like we might be needing to move forward in a relationship that we're afraid of. That's the energy that I'm getting. Like, there's a sense of being scared because of past fears and how a relationship broke down in the past and being able and being ho being hopeful but scared, holding back, okay? Being maybe stubborn about moving forward with the success here. Um, it does have to do with a lover. You have the will of fortune here, so this could be some karmic energy coming in. For sure. Um, so I feel like you might view the situation to be bad. or um, I, I just get fear. I'm surprised I don't see the Nine of Swords here. We're fearful about new love or the thought of new love coming in. What possibly a Sagittarius lover, Gemini lover. Let me clarify some things. Why is this tower card here? Why is this tower card here? We're fearful because, yeah, we've definitely been hurt. Someone cheated on us before. We were divorced or there was a breakup that happened that keeps us fearful. This could be the same person. There could be a person that you're scared to go back to. Maybe they said they changed and you're hopeful that they change. And um, you see the change in them, but you're still scared. You're probably trying to look at this love at a new direction, okay? A new uh, direction, but you're still fearful. There's something that's... Uh, 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 holding you back and it's a big shift that breakdown was real it changed your outlook on the person but you still are hope like you know everybody has an archetype or energy when someone has completely changed their your view of them has changed because of um what they did cheated walk out step out infidelity or whatnot um so right now our mind our body our soul uh, it's kind of tied up in these thoughts and it's holding us back from wanting to move forward. We have a sense of hopefulness mixed with the breakdown, so we're conflicted here. Okay? Nonetheless, we want to move forward and just hope for the best and just wish that everything does fall into our hands. That we could just kind of jump off the ledge freely and, and just get all the gifts that the universe has to offer us with this love because we do believe in real love. We may be a hopeless romantic. We do believe that those fairy tale dreams do come true we're curious about the love we're curious about this new thought of the love we're curious about the new love idea but that karmic will is turning we're not sure if that if the scenario is going to happen again yeah that's pretty clear the only thing i really felt like i needed to clarify was that uh tower in reverse because everything else is clear here Maybe I'll do the Will of Fortune. Spirit, clarify the Will of Fortune, please. Okay. This is definitely Sagittarius energy for sure. We're, it looks like we're trying to stop the will from turning. Yeah, we're trying. We're not wanting to move forward with this relationship because of fear. Like, we want to move forward. And it's like we're moving forward, 
I see some pe two people cut connecting here with soulmate energy, but we're actually trying to keep that will from turning. We don't want it to turn. For some reason, we, we, we maybe we have some beliefs about ourselves that we don't deserve real love here, you know? And we're like more on the defense side. Maybe we're actually trying to, self, not trying to, but self-sabotaging, you know? We could put be sticking, uh, create an illusion and projecting it onto a situation that isn't bad, but we're thinking about our past love life here. Because in the past, we had some major heartbreaks, and this just couldn't be true, right? It would be too good to be true. But I have some news for you. This just might be true. You self-sabotaging yourself. Yes, there's definitely Sagittarius energy here. And Aries energy here. Scorpio energy here. There's some strong fire energy. Fiery energy here. Someone probably has some strong fire placements uh, for sure. Or very driven, passionate here. Um, someone could be needing to just relax a little bit, get off guard, um, do things in moderation, don't go too far left, don't go too far right, but just kind of relax and chill, mindfulness, you know, um, being a temperance. So if you have a love life that you're interested in, your past is holding you back, your past beliefs, I honestly would, uh, recommend that you heal that uh, past belief, okay, because um, it looks like your the thoughts are only in your head. You're wrapped up in your head, and uh, honestly, you're self-sabotaging a great love, okay? A lot of things that you are projecting, you're creating a scene that you actually don't want to happen. Um, but again, this is the archetypal energy that we all tend to do. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirit, come down and give me messages for Virgo, please. Come down and give me messages for Virgo, please. Come down and give me messages for Virgo. We got a star card again. So Aquarius energy is live and where when well, someone's dealing with an Aquarius. There's some conflict, some interruption here. Um, and it keep it's like you're getting in your own way. Okay? You're creating your own conflict, but we want inner peace so bad. We want to find a light in the darkest times here. We want judgment to happen. We want change to happen. We have a tower card again. Okay? So we're feeling, trying to be hopeful in this dreadful moment. We're trying to be hopeful in this dreadful There's so much conflict. There's so much fighting. We're like, oh my gosh, there has to be light in this dark time. They could be fighting because it's a third party situation or just maybe um, you, there's, it could be fighting. There could be fighting in a household with three people. Maybe you feel like the only one that's pouring out the love here. Okay. I see conflict and just no one winning the fight. Okay. Conflict b between few people. Someone could be creating conflict in your home. I see conflict between three people for sure. I have a very strong, sharp energy. This is communicative energy. So someone's communicating in a childlike manner. Oh my goodness. So we're in a fight. We're talking bad. We're tearing each other down. Um, we could be talking bad about a third party situation. Maybe someone found out about a third party situation. Um, I just feel like I need one more roll here. Someone's trying to make the decision to walk away from this. Walk away from fighting. We don't want to do this anymore. Yeah, this definitely happened to lovers. Yeah, so two lovers are thinking about walking away. I got that here. Yep, but we're wrapped up in our own thoughts. You have the Eight of Swords again. So this is very similar. So this reading is just like the other reading here. Um, just uh, not just like the other reading, just like the other deck. Just a little, I see some similar cards here, but a little different because we have a tower card. We have the lover. Someone's needing to make a decision. You guys are at distance with each other when it comes to your thoughts and how you guys verbalize things. The communication is off. So there's distance. There's distance even if you guys are in the same home. I get th three people communicating in a childish way. Someone's wrapped up in your, their head about walking away. Internally, you know you love this person and they're for you. And you're hopeful for this love to happen. 
well, very hopeful for the love, but this tower card in the middle is nothing surrounding the situation is good. Three people fighting a childlike way. Somebody wanted to walk away, but wrapped up in their head. They can't get out of their head and get to, I guess, I, I kind of get, like, get to the higher thoughts. We're, we're feeling left out in the cold. It's very cold here. It's very fiery and cold. There's a lot of fiery and striking, you know? Some lost emotion. Someone's pouring in so much into something and someone, um, and they can't really seem to figure it out. They have a lot of inner conflict with their thoughts. Inner and outside conflict. All these emotions and your point. It's like, do y'all not care? Is what I'm getting here. You have the gold cup at the top. I never really paid attention to the colors. So this person is the one pouring in the most, pouring in the most money, I feel like. Gold. Fool's gold. You feel like a fool, maybe. Someone's trying to walk away, but I feel like they're trying to figure out, like, it's like this energy, like, you're trying to walk away, but you are trying to reason with the situation, justifying the situation to not walk away. Yeah, because you have not walking away, wrapped in your own head. So you're so wrapped in your thoughts that you can't, you, you're my, I would recommend meditation. This energy is telling me to meditate. You yeah, meditate because, um... Yep, we're not trying to walk away because we feel like we planted so many seeds here. Oh, and that's crazy because that two of uh, this two of wands actually reminded me of the temperance. It's trying to blend that energy and just justifying how we could try to keep it balanced, but it's not going to be balanced because there's too much conflict here. With this tower card, the five of swords, and the five of wands. I don't feel like we have enough confidence to walk away. So we're psyching ourselves out. We're lying to ourselves. We're, we're lying to ourselves. We're strapped up. We can't walk away. Um, we're, like, we're just hopeful. Justifying, 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 justifying. And it's because I love, we just justify. We come in with our love. We come in with love. You come in, there's all this conflict, and you come in with love. You have all this stuck energy, too. Our thoughts are holding us back. And your thoughts are burdening, burdening you, too. There's so much stuck energy here. Deception, strategic... So our thoughts are holding you back, but you're trying to be strategic about your thoughts too. But it's like you're overworking your mind. Your mind is actually burdening you. It's like you need to meditate. I keep getting meditate. I keep getting a spiritual awakening. Like meditate, open up your mind. Ascension, rerooting, regrounding yourself. Ascension, opening up, uh, getting those wheels turned, getting those wheels wheels turning in your chakra alignment. Oh my goodness. So this is not a healthy relationship at all, by far. Let's get some love oracle cards here, Spirit. This is for Virgo, April 2020, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Ask for probable, probable messages, grand suggestions, insight with unconditional love. The purest, highest good here. What's going on with Virgo? What's going on, Virgo? Somebody's being seduced. That's why I kept seeing the three swords. Someone keeps seducing. Oh, if you're not happy at your home, come over here. Someone's getting seduced. Like, uh, someone's being seduced. Like, it's so secure somewhere. Uh, with that third-party situation, someone might be getting seduced out of the home. Because they feel like I keep getting the grass is greener on the other side. 
maybe the, the person that this person is dealing with is bringing them some type of peace, harmony, or just calmness, you know, they're just trying to escape their, their feelings, you know. Someone could be lying about um, going out to have girl talk with their friends. Um, it sounds like someone could be going out with the girls and end up seeing the guy or vice versa. You could flip it. Uh, gender is reversible. Or someone just needs a break. Someone probably wants to step out and go have some girl talk. You know, so this could be someone's um, envision of just getting out. Maybe someone is unable to leave the home. Well, obviously y'all are unable to leave the home, I guess. Someone wants to break free because now you're stuck at home with people or relationship you're not really liking. So we want to get out of the house. We want to go under a palm tree. We want to go do something. We want to go have girl talk and get out of the house. Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phases, preparing for union. So like I said, there's uh, some ascension. I did say that I seen uh, spiritual awakening ascension you need to happen there angels from the Lord Oracle what's going on Virgo April 2020 ask for divine messages divine me oh okay so the angels are talking tonight free yourself like I said that's an unhealthy relationship passion allow your heart and soul to sing joy so if you free yourself you, you will feel a lot happier this could be the one. So some of you are actually going between two people. You're in a horrible relationship. You might be stepping out and you're needing to free yourself because you do feel like the grass is greener on the other side. Yeah. Let me clarify this. Clarify, uh, this could be the one spirit. Clarify, emperor. Someone's dealing with a fire sign. Maybe someone's just uh, feeling like, you know, the man, like they got it all, you know. Someone could feel like uh, it's a woman dealing with an emperor. Someone could feel like, um... Oh, that's really funny energy. I don't even know how to... Um... Someone's presenting themselves like the boss, the man. They got it all. But even what this person is offering here, you don't really want it. Because someone, again, like I said, there's someone that's not going to give up on their home. So someone's to pre to presenting herself like they got it all. Like the third party situation got it all. The grass looks green on this side, but we're, we're, we don't even really want the offer for real is what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm really getting that um, even though we're having so much fun in this third party situation, like we can't leave like our marriage perhaps or our, our long term relationship. Yeah, someone's coming in with a love offer, but it's like we're experiencing it, we, but we, 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 we don't want it. Clarify passion. Clarify passion, spirit. Clarify passion. Ooh, got the boom boom stick. So someone's definitely having sex. Someone's having sex. Someone is going off like a fool and a, just having sex. It could be, I, I got unprotected sex. It just kind of reminds me of the karma. If you're going to go off and go with a third party situation, please strap up. Oh, yeah, this is someone's having sex. Yes. Yes, for sure. Someone's definitely having sex. Clarify for yourself, spirit. Clarify for yourself. Someone's having a lot of success, just like a fool about it, too. Free yourself. <laughs> Free yourself, eight of cups. Mm. Someone's walking away. Someone's going to walk away or have uh, needing to walk away from uh, the home life. Someone is, like, really wanting to walk away. Someone's, oh, oh my gosh, it's weird energy. I get someone is 
feeling like they're going to have regrets if they walk away or free themselves because they're focused on maybe still creating or trying to harness the energies in their home life. King of Pentacles yet. When I say home, I forgot the King of Pentacles. We all know that's the homemaker. That's the guy that wants the home. He wants to be grounded in his home. He wants to feel safe and secure in his home. He's like, home is still where the heart is. Like, yeah, I'm over here using my boom boom stick and being a fool over here and dipping and dabbling in the, uh, the garden <laughs> of Eden. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But I'm over here. Yeah. They don't really want that love offer the third party for real. Like, okay, so what I would suggest is canceling. You got the Tower card again. Ace of Swords. So there's some harsh truth that's going to come out. Hermit, Virgo card. Yeah, someone is cheating with a third party situation. Someone keeps on seducing you, offering you love. Come over here. Your relationship ain't good over there. We're trying to keep the strength because we care about our life. We're trying to fight it off, but it's hard to fight it off because it's Queen of Cups come in. And it's like, is it real stability over here? Be careful not to get anybody pregnant. Oh my goodness. This is, oof. This is some loving hip hop shit, damn it. All right, so my advice to you if you're going to go step out in a third party situation, please strap up. If you're going to work on your home, you can do counseling because I see that we don't want to walk away from, like, we, it's, it's a weird energy. It's like we're not happy, but we're not walking away. But we over here go, going and laying our boom boom stick all over the place or uh, for sure with a particular person. But we're, we're not walking away from home. Like, I get traditions, you know. What, it's feeling like you still got to be a family man. Like, you have obligations to your household. So, if that's the case, you need to find out how to work through it. Have you tried everything? There's so many blueprints, books, grand successors who talk about working on your relationship. If not, just break it off. Because two, three people are getting hurt. The person that you're cheating on with, the person that you're cheating with, and yourself. That's why I kept seeing the three of swords and that breakdown. is a constant breakdown. It's not a healthy energy at all. Um, gosh. Get your shit together. Peace.